Kupiansk is a town 40 kilometers away from the Russian border. It looks just like any other war-torn settlement. However, the battles for this city were the heaviest in the whole Kharkiv region. But what makes this place so important? Основні руйнування по критичній інфраструктурі залізниці це у нас іде мости над річ, над річкою, над осколом, тобто на Куп'янському вузловому міст розбитий і залізничний міст в місті Куп'янськ, який трішки, трішки в наш пошкоджений, навіть не трішки він зруйнований. The biggest railway junction, Kupiansk Vuzlovy, is just five kilometers from this place. Once the city was occupied on February 27th, it became a major supply route for Russian troops. This made the occupation of the Kharkiv region possible. While retreating, Russians destroyed the bridges and other railway infrastructure to take away the strategic weight from the city. As soon as it became possible, the Ukrainian railway began to restore the connection to reinforce the supplies needed to protect the retaken positions. This is the bridge that leads to Kupiansk, which makes it a wanted target for the Russians. But this danger doesn't stop railway workers from doing their job. For this reason, they are called iron people in Ukraine. This object was a few times, because after the first attack on the first attack, it was destroyed by the occupants. They were forced to go back again. We will all do it, all will be done, all will be done until the 24th. It's tough physical work in constant danger of shelling, but it's not what iron people find most difficult. Складніший випадок це коли я напевно свою дружину з п'ятимісячною дитиною забирав з під обстрілу. Це був найскладніший об'єкт. Це наша робота відновлювати, ремонтувати капітальний ремонт мостів. Це наша робота, це наше життя. So tomorrow is a big day for Ukrainian Railroad as they are restoring the connection to the city of Kupiansk, which was under the occupation. And uh, all, what's also interesting is that it's the first combined route. Uh, so the train will bring passengers to here and from here they will be taken by buses to where they need to go. We recently started to drive to Balakle, Izium, Dargachi, Chuguiv. Now Kupiansk is on the road, Slatino. And for us it's a real story. Ukrainian Railway is the biggest company in Ukraine, with 230,000 people working there. It is one of the biggest railway in the world, by volume of cargo shipping. Now they are restoring the connections to all the occupied cities of Ukraine, such as Izum, Kupiansk and recently liberated Kherson. In pitch black and total coveredness, the team approaches the train car plant. The plant will report on the production of a special secretive order. Ukrainian Railroad is not just a transportation company. They do take a huge part in social life of Ukraine and, of course, in military. Uh, for example, they are providing the military units with uh, these bunkers. These bunkers will be buried in the ground and later on they will be set up as a heating points for the soldiers. На работу ходим сейчас более-менее спокойно. Ну, было пару прилетов, было немного страшно. Ну, так нормально. Основная проблема с материалами. Если материалы будут, работать будем. No matter what, Ukrainian railways keep running. In these uncertain times, they have become a symbol of stability and unity for the whole country. Женя Мельник, United 24 Media.